Hello my friends and happy Halloween. Have I got a treat for you guys today. I am in Romeo, Michigan and I'm at Terror on Tilson Street. It's the most decorated street in all of Michigan and I'm gonna take you guys on a tour so you can see how well these guys have decorated this street. Now I do have a little bit of a uh, sore throat so I'm not gonna be doing as much talking today. Happy Halloween to all of you. Let's go have some fun. Come join me. All right, well, we're just getting started, and my understanding is that there are over 40 houses on this street. Every single house decorates, and we're going to get to check them all out. We're going to come down the other side of the street on the way back, so we're going to focus on this side for now. All right, we're approaching our very first house, and look at the cemetery in their front yard. Even the porch is decorated. Look at the details on these monuments at the cemetery gates here. Look at that creepy character. His wheelchair is moving back and forth. And there's ghosts in the windows too. I don't know if you guys noticed that. Even upstairs. Well, believe it or not, that was just the first house. We are coming up to our second house right now. This one, a little less scary, but still decorated. And in their front yard, a giant inflatable spider. And then up on the porch, a few pumpkins and a couple creepy characters up there. All right, over here, we've got a couple of creepy skeletons. Looks like a uh, doctor or a, some sort of uh, creepy surgeon tearing apart that other skeleton. And look at all those heads on the ground as well. This next house, we've got a creepy scarecrow and a couple of tombstones. And it looks like there's a head of some sort on the ground there. This house is titled The Magic of Tilson Street, and they have a magic show going on here. Looks like there's a guillotine up there with that creepy character. We've got a witch trying to pass a hoop around that body of that person over there. A couple of magician cutouts as well. And then, look at this character. Leapin' Larry, done in by fast women and a slow horse. All right, coming up at this house right here, look at this giant spider and spider web. Just creepy. Look at that creepy guy right there. And this is no home. This is a castle. Check this one out. With drawbridge and everything. And they even have a skeletal dinosaur that ate some poor 
damsel in distress, it looks like. Tilsonville Castle. All right, this particular yard looks like they might have ran out of time decorating for Halloween. It says world's largest display of invisible monsters. No trespassing, seriously, we are tired of hiding the bodies. But if you look around, that is the only two things you will see on display here. Hard to see what's going on in this one. It says, Fright This Way. Got a couple of goofy characters in here as well. And their tree in their yard is all lit up orange. Tilson Street Hauntings. And by the way, there is a there is a Facebook group for these guys. And uh, here's the QR code. Plenty of tombstones, and look at that creepy face in the background over there. Check this guy out, just sitting here, looking at us on his bench. A lot of tombstones over here. Over at this house right here, it says the Bridal Bones Boutique. And we have a bunch of ghostly brides all dressed up. The sign here says, are you saying yes to distress? Sign says, Welcome to Hotel Tilson. And over here, a horse drawn carriage, except the horse is a skeleton. Get the bellhop and the luggage. And it looks like this family is dining. They're all outside getting ready for a feast of the boar's head. All kinds of craziness going on here. Over here, Hotel Tilson Concierge. Ring the bell for service. We lost the I saw it, I got a picture. And the sign lit up on the front porch. And they even have the red carpet and velvet ropes. A couple of sailors are staying here. And this must be the relaxing living room area. These couples are all hanging out in the lounge. 
And we've got a maid over here. Looks like she's pouring some coffee. There's also this area over here where you can get your photo taken. They have like a little scene set up for you to sit at the Hotel Tilson and take your photo. And if you're looking to get in on the action, you're in luck. This house here is for sale and you can be part of the Tilson Street Terror in Romeo, Michigan. There's something in the cornfields over here. Oh my, it is the Headless Horseman riding through the cornfields. Check him out. And what is this one? Check that out. Now that is a scarecrow. Another headless figure over on the porch and upstairs in those windows. What's going on up there? Something going on over in this one. And then over here, look at that one. Over on the other side of the front lawn, check out this creepy guy. This house here, lots of witches hats hanging from that tree. And a couple of witch cutouts. And I think I see brooms lining the walkway up to the porch. And finally, this house on the corner is the last one on this side of the street. We still have another half of the street to go, so we're only halfway through this video. Let's see what's on the other side. And across the street, while I'm not going in and through there, they have a couple of tents set up with a little scare house. All right, finally up to our first house on the other side of the street. And it's another cornfield. This one's all lit up, it's strobing. There's something going on the porch, but I can't quite see what it is. Look at the scene over here, a couple of skeletons getting ready to bury those bones. And that back there, while it looks like an old hearse, it's actually an old ambulance, probably from the 60s. And here we are coming up on the Snoopy house. If you remember Snoopy and the Great Pumpkin, back way over there in the distance is the Great Pumpkin patch where the Great Pumpkin will rise. And there's Charlie Brown, he's got his rock. This side of the street is moving quite a bit slower than the other side was. And look 
at this amazing house right here. It's decorated in fairy tales, starting with this first candy house, which is Hansel and Gretel. And the old witch is in the makeshift outdoor oven. <laughs> And then back over there in the distance, we've got the three little pigs. Check them out. We've got a straw house, a stick house, and a brick house. And guess what's roasting over the fire? It's the wolf's head. This house is just very well detailed, just amazing. Look back there, just above that bush. And there's a face back there in that bush. So it took me a while to see this, but that is, that's Jack. And that's a beanstalk. He's climbing the beanstalk to get to the giant. I didn't realize that until just now. And over here, we've got Alice in Wonderland having a tea party. The Mad Hatter sitting at the table with Alice. And in the background, we've got an arch made of cards. And then behind that arch is Tweedledee and Tweedledum. And over here we've got a graveyard. It says here lies Snow White and her seven doors. And apparently this guy ate them all. Over here a little red riding hood. Or maybe a little dead riding hood. Riding her dead horse. And look at that, it's the evil witch with her apple. Very cool haunt. <laughs> this house has a graveyard. And they also have some photo opportunities set up as well. This one's Hocus Pocus. You can be one of the Sanderson sisters. And over here, that's where they're at. The Sanderson sisters are over here holding hands. Looks like they're getting ready to cast a spell in their lair. How cool is that? And over here, it looks like we have a circus house. Check right. this act out. The tall man. And down below, the very small woman. Check that out. Check out the queen, along with her minions, guarding her. How cool is that? And one thing else that I noticed is there's giant pillars behind her on both sides of this house. How cool is that? Check that. There's even a chandelier hanging from this tree. Very cool indeed. Okay, video this time. Did we come here?
check out this pirate ship. This is just amazing. If you can see those sails, very cool. And it looks like they've got a bunch of treasure down there in that treasure chest. Look out over here. This guy's got a cannon. Very cool house. Look at this house, all boarded up, under construction even. Spiders everywhere. Spider webs all over this house. Just crazy. Haunted Forest Witch's Castle. Oh my, there's a bunch of coffins up here. Looks like something's coming out of this one. Oh, this must be the Wizard of Oz because there are flying monkeys. There's one down there, one up here. And it looks like Oz landed on the witch. There's the yellow brick road. <laughs> the Tin Man and Dorothy and Toto and even Glinda the Dead Witch. And right over here we've got an outhouse and there's a skeleton in there doing his thing. And why? Because this is a construction site. These guys are all working their butts to the bone. Check that out. There's got ladders, climbing the house and everything. They're all working hard. guy in the back must have had too much to drink last night and Michael Myers is out here chasing the kids around uh oh look out guys he's got his knife he's coming for us over here at our next haunt lots of very uniquely carved pumpkins See if we can't zoom in on some of these, show you the detail. Pretty amazing. Look at the detail on these pumpkins. <laughs> Creepy. And over here we're coming up on the Beetlejuice house. Just wait till you guys see this one when we get a little bit closer.
Yes. And if you guys thought the Beetlejuice house was cool, check it out. It is the It house. Lots of creepy clowns. Well, apparently this is actually just a creepy clown house. And look at this one right here on the swing. Over there, the entrance to the fun house. It just looks creepy. That's why I thought that was it. If you look at the makeup on the face, it goes right through the eyes, just like it. And they do have some clowns up in the windows above as well. This is the ticket booth. And it costs one soul to get in. at that one in the back. He's pretty creepy. He's a pretty big clown back there. There's a couple more. One on top of this box here. Looks like a jack-in-the-box back there. There's the jack-in-the-box. And then we've got this one over here as well. And there he is hanging out in the sewer and it says you'll float too well happy Halloween guys I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up don't forget to click on that compass so you can stay subscribed for future episodes and remember adventure is just a short drive away